The University of Tennessee will soon be home to nine monuments honoring the National Panhellenic Council. Each monument will represent one of the nine historically African-American sororities and fraternities. 10 News reporter Grace King was at the groundbreaking ceremony today. And, and Grace, why was this celebration so important? Lewis, over the past four years, UT says the National Panhellenic Council has grown by 500%. And for the current and former NPHC members, they say it's all about recognition. Saturday afternoon, UT broke ground on a big milestone for the National Panhellenic Council. To recognize all the Divine Nine is just absolutely awesome. Nine monuments will represent the historically African-American sororities and fraternities on campus. Our chapters promote cultural celebration, academic achievement, political awareness, and social justice. My top priority for students is for them to know that they matter on our campus and that they belong. From the late 1970s, it was an opportunity to gain life, time friends, and sisters. To today, we've done some great things, we made some great strides. The Divine Nine have influenced generations of UT students. It was an opportunity for an African American young lady like myself to grow. These new monuments will be a testament to that. As we create a community where everyone matters and belongs, this is a visual representation of diversity and inclusion on our campus. Inclusion and representation. I hope that with these monuments that people can realize that we are um, not only an organization but a business in itself and we are here to uh, make impact and to change the, cul the culture around us and the community around us. In the SEC, Vanderbilt, Missouri and LSU have constructed similar monuments. Florida and Kentucky are also in the process of establishing some. Lewis.